Hi, welcome. Um, in this video I would like to say a little bit about types of knowledge or levels of knowledge if you will. Um, because many people want to learn or to understand something but there are actually four different levels of understanding or building a relationship. Um, if we look at the lowest level of understanding it is basically the knowledge we tend to get from textbooks or instruction books or yeah, scientific work. Um, what we do is we look at, the, uh, at what we know of something. So for instance I want to know something about a stone and I can read in a book like okay this is the chemical composition, this is how it is formed. Um, and if you read a spiritual book it can yeah, have a list of things which it is indicated for or certain powers it is supposed to have. Um, in this way we get a very uh, categorical knowledge. So it is more or less the same as saying like uh, uh, women have more fat than men or uh, men are stronger than women. So it is true in a general sense but it tends not to be true in a specific sense or in an individual sense. So this knowledge we get in this way by book learning is generally rather crude, uh, very generalistic and also very confining um, because if we truly believe all these laws and regulations then we actually yeah, close our eyes to a lot more than might be to that stone or to that person. Um, so this yeah, system of categorization and systemization is basically the, the lowest, the simplest level of knowledge. Um, if we go slightly higher uh, we get more to an individual level of knowledge where we try to understand something um, in its own way, in its own right. So rather than looking really from the outside and saying like okay what are the uh, testable or observable characteristics, you try to get an understanding what it is like to be that other person or to be that stone or to, the, to be that plant and to see what are they involved with, what are they trying to do. Um, so you try to see how a crystal grows or how a plant grows or how the leaves of a plant and the seeds and the roots have actually different functions. And out of that function comes also an energetic motion and energetic movement. Um, and also different traits become apparent by looking more closely at it. And if you look at the spirit of the plant or of the stone um, or of the animal, you actually learn that it is also on a journey, on a road for self-improvement and that it has certain specific tendencies. So just like one person might love art or love mathematics or music, in the same way a specific stone or plant or animal also has their own preferences. So. Any human can do math or, uh, or art or uh, music, but not every human is equally good at it. And in the same way these general characteristics we know from the first level of knowledge become more specified if we go to this higher level of knowledge. Then we can learn, okay, this stone might have indications like, oh, it is good against migraine or against skin disease, but that stone might choose, okay, I really want to work on my healing skin disease yeah, talents instead of on my helping with migraine talents. So then you learn to understand that even though a stone is of the correct category, to pick the correct stone for the specific use or specific goal that you have in mind. So if we go move on to the next level of knowledge, it is really the understanding of the relationship between you as a human being and the plant or the stone or the animal as a different type of being and building up a communication. Um, so here it starts to become a lot more flexible. Um, so instead of trying to find a stone who is good at something specific, uh, you can get into communication and learn to show yourself to the stone and um, to communicate with the stone like okay listen this is who I am this is what my problems are this is what my goals are and what can you do for me 
and what can I do for you to help you to do that? So it becomes really a cooperation. So for instance, if I have migraines, I can talk to a stone like, okay, can you heal migraines? Yes, but I'm not very good at it, the stone might say. And then you can say like, okay, so what do you need to learn or to become better at healing migraines if you want to do that?